Okay, hello guys. Uh, welcome once again to my uh, uh, topic sharing and discussion with you uh, regarding this uh, multiple arc welding load calculation. Now, if you want to join with me in how I calculate the uh, as a group of welders or welding machines, uh, just uh, join me and uh, let's brainstorm this. Okay, these are the PEC tables that we are going to uh, use and have reference with. Ito yung uh, table ng uh, duty cycle multiplication, table 630.21a and this uh, table 630 2.3 for a group of welders na meron siyang uh, mga percentage for the first two largest welders and uh, the third one will be 85% and 70% for the fourth one and the rest will be 60% and this is also for the duty cycle whether this is a non-motor or a motor generator okay let's discuss that later okay ito yung mga uh, inano ko lang ito para malaman nyo kung ano yung motor generator na welding machine uh, uh, this is actually we have here a square cage uh, motor induction motor and we have here a non uh, motor generator yung mga TIG, mga MIG, mga TIG weld, mga MIG or yung mga gas weld yan mga non motor yan uh, ito naman mga um, motor uh, meron tamang tayo yung mga inverter na mga mo, ano dito mga welding machine mga non motor yan dito naman uh, yan mga may motor siya sa so welding niya ito yung kanyang definition ng ng uh, motor generator na welding machine arc welding all right okay we have the arc uh, welders tabulation table here let's do this calculation we have here uh, the units number of units uh, meron tayong six dito okay tapos sa name plate niya meron tayong duty cycle and the uh, motor fla Okay, yung duty cycles niya, we will refer this to this uh, table here, 630.2, 1A duty cycle. Okay, tapos yung motor FLA niya, ito yung kung sino yung largest FLA na meron sa nameplate, yun yung largest motor na i-define i natin dito sa table na ito. And the group of welder machines, uh, group of welders ay dito naman yan. Sa first two niyan, meron siyang 100%. Tanda natin ta, sa first two niya, meron siyang 100%. The largest first two ng mga welding machine, meron siyang 100%. Dito na i-multiply natin aside from the duty cycle. Okay, then the third one will be uh, the 85%. Yan ang unique ng ganitong group welders uh, dahil meron siyang mga derating uh, factors. Dalawa. Ayan, 85% plus this uh, times this uh, 80% ng kanyang duty cycle this is a table na ito and the fourth one will be 70 percent dito 70 percent a group of welders yan okay then the rest of the group of welders will be 60 percent the rest kung ano yung mga ano nyo dyan 60 percent na yan yung first top four lang ang merong uh, unique na multiplication in dalawa the largest one is 100 percent the third one is 85% and uh, the fourth one of the group of welders is 70% and the rest will be 60%. Okay, so let's go for this uh, calculation here. Okay, now let's go. We have the uh, IC. Let's take a look. IC is equal to the duty cycle times the FLA and the group of welders. Okay, let's uh, multiply this. So, 100%, how much? Duty cycle is 100% here. So, this is a motor generator. So, we have a 1.0, 100%. So, we have here 1 times 50 times 100%. Okay, base dito yan. 100% yan. Okay, then we will have this... Uh, 50 amperes so the next one is uh, same as uh, the 100 percent of the group welders but this 90 percent here will go to the table here and you will have this uh, this is a motor generator 0 
so we have 0 0.86 times 40 amperes times 100 percent because uh, the first two largest FLA or the motor so it will multiply not in 100 percent so we will have this 38 amperes so the third one we have 85 percent multiplication for the group of welders and this 80 uh, percent here we will go to the table 80 percent go to the table here how much is that this is still a motor generator and we have 0 0.91 so we have your 0 0.91 then times 30 times 85 percent for the group of welders so we have a 23 amperes so the fourth one is 70 percent a group of welders but uh, the 70 percent here will go here in this table the 70 percent we will get this 0 0.86 was it 0 0.86 oh no 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 this is uh, the non-generator that's 0 0.84 this is a non-generator Napoleon sorry so we have a 0 0.84 here for the non-generator this one then 20 amperes times 70 percent uh, for this one the fourth one this one and you have a uh, 12 amperes here all right so the the, the six uh, the fifth and the six will have a multiplication of 60 percent for the group of welders and of course you have to uh, base this on the table for the uh, non-generator motor all right so uh, when we sum this up uh, it's going to be 130 amperes the total of this uh, group of welders now let's go to this pick okay this OCPD here uh, we'll get this 130 amp total I will go to the PC 240.16 ulang ng 0.6 we will use 150 amperes bakit hindi natin ginamit yung 200% dito sa OCPD mainly because ito yan ang uh, ano natin dito ay group of welders ito group of welders motorized and non-motorized kaya hindi natin ginamit yung uh, 200% because yung uh, 200% na yan ay para yan sa individual uh, welding machine arc welding machine but for the group welder hindi na apply yung 200% ok now uh, we have this uh, Okay, 150 doon sa ating OCP din na main. Sa feeders naman natin, we have to match this as a rule of thumb ang OCPD. So, yung 150 na yan, idadali natin yan sa PEC 310.2.6B16, 75 degrees para sa kanyang wire sizing. Meron tayong dyang apat na 50 mm squared THHW kasama na yung neutral. Okay, tapos yung GEC natin dito, of course, magbabase tayo dito sa table natin sa GEC niya. So, kung meron tayong 50mm squared, galing dito sa main feeder natin. Okay, magagamit tayo ng 114mm squared na GEC, grounding electrode, which is based on this. So, ito yon, meron tayo dito 50, na dahil copper tayo dito, 14mm squared ang ating gagamitin THHW kasi ito ay nasa labas ok now let's do with the bonding jumper calculation MBG uh, main bonding jumper is actually uh, the same as this uh, GEC ok according to this 2.53.17 uh, so we are going to have a 1.14mm uh, squared MBG at yun ang kanyang main bonding jumper so when we are going to get this uh, uh, service entrance of course uh, we are going to use this 150 amperes uh, then we go to this uh, table 3 tenths 2.6 b16 uh, over 75 degrees because it uh, is over 100 amps okay at the 75 degree column so ang, uh, full neutral tayo so ang neutral natin dyan ay 60 mm squared then tulad din ng size ng face angle natin na 60 mm squared THHW 
Alright? Uh, ito yung uh, kinalabasan ng ating uh, uh, calculation. So, yung ating uh, supply dyan is uh, sa secondary is 280-120 forward system. 3 phase. So, meron tayo dito 6360mm square THW. Meron tayo dito sa feeder natin. Meron tayong 4 na 50mm square THW. Ang MBG natin. 14mm squared, GEC natin, 14mm squared, and a group of welding machine here, motorized and non-motorized welding machines. Alright, okay, at the end, that, uh, keep subscribing and sharing this to your friends. Uh, mag-ingat lagi sa COVID mga folks. Bye-bye. Thanks.